hi everyone welcome to the latest soldering video thanks for your time and support it's much appreciated now in this one i'm just going to show a few of my favorite tricks that i've learned over the years some new some old hopefully one or two of them can benefit you in the future now i've shown this one in a previous video so if you've got a large pad for instance like this and you're putting a wire or component onto it you just want to control the solder flow normally your solder basically just goes where it wants if you're soldering to this it's hard to control the flow this next clip from taken from a previous video is going to show you how you can avoid that happening so what we do get straight on with that clip hopefully that one yeah can help you in the future and uh, hopefully one or two of the others can so this moves straight on with that now right so quickly off camera just shaped a bit of captain tape around that wire so hopefully when i get this soldered up i should just get the solder within the area there where i basically cut the captain away so if you've got traces like this on RF boards, you don't want the solder to spread too far down the trace, just put a bit of captain over at the point you need it to stop. As long as the captain's down tight, the solder should basically stop at that point. What I'm going to do on this one, just get a small amount of flux added to the joint, where we're going to do that. And quickly get this soldered up. So it's not critical on a lot of boards, but in some cases, too much solder or too much solder flow can cause you issues so yeah it's just a good good method this where the captain can really help you so let's just get this soldered up that's basically just get a small bit more on there as you can see I've got the perfect Solder joint covering the wire with no spread down onto that pad. Just get, just get this tape removed and see what the end result looks like. So I push the captain down quite tight, so it's pretty tricky to remove. And that's going to give you a perfect amount of solder. So it's not too critical on lots of boards, but there is times when you will need to maybe stop the flow going too far down just clean some of the flux away Let's have a look at the end result so as you can see perfect amount of solder and it hasn't spread at all down the rest of the pad but like I say if you need to control the solder flow captain can really help you out in that situation yes yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that great little trick so without the captain tape it's been impossible to stop the solder flow in of his own free will potentially further out further down so the captain tape can control it it's a great trick one that i've used a lot over the years and hopefully it can benefit one or two of you in the future so anyway let's move on with the next one and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoy that one
two soldering irons, also great for removing SO8s. I'm just going to quickly show you how to get this one off, for example. What you've got to do, I've showed this in a few of my videos, short the pins together down the sides. Really simple method. You will see a lot of people going side to side with one iron. So much easier. Bring a second iron in. Lift the device off. So easy. Clean the pads up, ready to go to fit a new device. A situation where two irons is a great benefit. Got these tantalum capacitors, wrong polarities. I'm going to show you how to quickly get these off two irons. Could use one iron, quite a large component. Time to get one into the other, the other end set, and you just forever doing this. Hot air gun, these components don't like them. If you've ever taken these off of a hot air gun, they turn they discolour badly. It's not the best thing. Two irons, really simple, really quick. Lift them off really quick. We've got to do then turn them around, put them on the right way. So easy, no fuss. Use for two solder irons is removing small to medium electrolytic capacitors like this one. Now you can do these ones with hot air, but I don't like really using hot air on this type of device, especially the large ones. I've seen them go pop, not nice. So what I'm going to do is just quickly concentrate, I'll get the focus in on the joints. I've added a small amount of fresh solder to the joints, just to aid the removal. Just get the two solder irons laid on. Just be patient. Should start that, see that, remove, twist, start twisting this, let's get that slid off. Nice result there, so all we got to do, clean the pads up, and that's going to be ready for a new device. So that's how easy it is. Like I said, I don't like to use hot air on these, two soldering irons, great method. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you a really good method for doing the really large electrolytics. So if you haven't seen that one, I think you're going to enjoy it. I'll show you one more example, we're using two irons. I'm going to take this large coil off. Benefit of this one, again, this is a very large component, end to end, one iron, difficult. Just behind it, you've got a plastic battery holder. Now, without protection, if you use a hot air gun to get this off, potential melt in the battery holder. This rules all them worries out. You can bring your irons in different angles. So I'm going to bring one from around the back and one straight up. This is the flexibility two irons gives you over soldering tweezers. Just slide it off. Just lift the component out of the way. Just get it off the board. Totally clean, no damage, really easy. So like I say, more flexibility with two irons and soldering tweezers. So the best thing you can do, get yourself a second iron. Don't have to be a great one, nice cheap one. And you won't look back. Show you this great trick if you're ever trying to get large electrolytic capacitors off like this one two soldering irons really difficult it takes too long for the heat to get underneath definitely don't use hot air on ones like this they can go pop this is the way i like to do this all you do gently twist it 
slowly side to side very safe method if done slowly just take your time and it will just twist off the pins will break all we've got to do then is take the pins off the base so that's got the legs as you can see the legs are still there all we've got to do then we'll clean them off and we'll show you the pads underneath right so I've quickly cut away the plastic base all we've got to do Hold nine on there to get these remnants of the device removed. It's easily done. Just add a little bit of rework flux to the pin. Let's just lift these off. Let's just use a bit of solder braid and we get this rest of the solder removed. So it's a great method. If you haven't used it, give it a go. I used to be a bit skeptical of it. Now I love it when I do the large electrolytics. So there you go, two perfect pads, perfect condition, no damage at all. And that's now good to go to fit a new device. These devices are, can be really difficult to remove, but doing it this way, take your time nice and slow, you're going to get a great result like that. So yeah, give it a go and hopefully that can help you out in the future. Right, so just going to finish the video off here with this great little trick. Now, I've all had situations in the past. You've got blocked holes, trying to clear them with solder braid. You had your soldering iron, and the solder doesn't do anything. It just bubbles away, going nowhere. And, it, yeah, it just sits there for ages, and it just doesn't clear the hole at all. Try this great trick, and it, yeah, it should help you out in the future. So the secret is flux. What we've got to do, add some liquid or rosin flux to your braid. And this is going to give it, turn it into super braid basically. You can also, if you've got large holes like this, you can double the distance of your wicking area and watch that solder shoot along. Now braid does come with flux already in it. This is just going to turn it into a different animal basically. So much better. And there you go. Cleared the hole straight away. We saw that solder shoot along the braid. So if you've got some braid, it's not working for you, add some flux, be a game changer. Anyway, thanks for your time and support in watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and can help me out in the future, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care.